This is Destiny TV. Ladies and gentlemen, they say Monday Blues, but it's not Monday Blues right here on Destiny Television Studios. Remember, we are live on Facebook and we are live right here on Destiny Television Studios. And today, my guests are uh, Mr. George Kimathi. He'll be introducing himself in a bit. And uh, we have our resident analyst, Mr. Kenneth Kimathi. I don't know what's with the name Kimathi, but I believe it carries with it much <laughs> weight. The show is crossfire and as usual we'll be discussing issues that affect you our viewer mr gentlemen thank you for coming thank you thank, thank, you, thank you for thank keeping you, time thank, for thank you Sorry. introduce yourself mr george kimathi thank you for who you are thank you so much lincoln uh -huh. just like you've put it clearly my name is uh, george kimathi i am the chief officer for water and irrigation in the county government of uh, meru so basically we are implementing the manifesto of our governor to the people of Meru to ensure that they have got uh, uh, adequate, safe, clean water. Mm -hmm. Just like he promised mm -hmm. yes. during the time of campaigns, it's now we are walking the journey. Mm -hmm. And the journey began and I believe and I have confidence that we are doing very well mm -hmm. in as far as this journey of ensuring that we have water to the residents of Meru County is concerned. Yes, you've heard it all, you've heard it all in a nutshell. That is what he does every day. <laughs> and yes. our resident analyst, mm. Mr. Kenneth Kimathi, do you need much introduction? I don't think so, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite a familiar face. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. George yes. uh, Kimathi, yes, very fast. Yes. Let's get to the real issues. Sure. I mean, what is a Meru County government's policy or mm. plan as pertains water and irrigation? Uh, Mr. Lincoln, uh, I have to take you back to uh -huh. our governor's uh, uh, manifesto. And this is a manifesto we are implementing. And uh, uh, our key policy, or what we really want to do in as far as water is concerned, mm -hmm. is to ensure that we provide adequate, safe, mm -hmm. accessible water. Mm -hmm. First, for domestic mm -hmm. use, and secondly, also for irrigation purposes. Mm -hmm. You realize that there are areas where in this uh, county where we've got no surface water mm -hmm. and there are other areas which are endowed with water and uh, you realize that in the needs of those people without water mm -hmm. or any surface water and the, the needs of the people where we've got rivers, people who are doing areas where there is a lot of irrigation, mm -hmm. all these people have got needs but the needs are different. Mm -hmm. And uh, as the Department of Water, the county government of Meru, we are addressing these needs uh, as per the area mm -hmm. where the needs is coming from, and also depending on nature of the, the need mm -hmm. uh, of water. Because you realize that in areas of uh, Gembe North subcounty, mm -hmm. people really need water. Yes. There is no surface water. But you come to areas of uh, Saudi Menti, not all parts of uh, Saudi Menti, some parts of Central Menti. Uh, I want like uh, about the Wushi West. Mm -hmm. They are really endowed with water. But they also have challenges. For example, the systems that are there, they are old systems. Mm -hmm. So we really need to come in and ensure that the amount of water, that's where now the aspect of adequacy comes in. Mm -hmm. Are these farmers getting enough water to irrigate their land? Remember also the population has grown. Mm -hmm, yes. So we come in, we assist the farmers, for example, the water projects, mm -hmm. to expand what? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the water projects. Yes. So we remove, for example, like, uh, like uh, what we've been doing uh, last financial year, we have assisted water projects mm -hmm. with pipes. Mm -hmm. 
Not that they do, the, the, the water is not flowing, the water is there, but these are old, dilapidated mm -hmm. systems. Yes. So you have assisted them. Mm -hmm. The people down in uh, the drier parts of this country, they are salarious. Mm -hmm. Remember we are talking about Bori, mm -hmm. Tigania East, mm -hmm. Tigania West, mm -hmm. Gembe North, mm -hmm. some parts of uh, Gembe South, mm -hmm. you re and the Gembe Central. Mm -hmm. These areas, they require water. And that's where we are implementing our flagship project of boreholes. Okay. That's where we are sinking boreholes and you can say uh, the boreholes that we have sunk so far are doing a good job. Mm -hmm. You have also seen it, people are confessing that they are now accessing water yes. and we plan to, uh, to continue with this activity mm -hmm. until by the end of the five years mm -hmm. people will have to say to themselves mm -hmm. they have water. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, this is uh, what we also we are, we are doing. Mm -hmm. And I must say, as we implement this, remember I talked about safe water. Yes. So water quality is of essence. Mm -hmm. In as much as we are supplying this water, mm -hmm. we are also supplying this water which is safe. Mm -hmm. We also have water service providers in, the, in this county. Yes. We have the Meru Water uh, Corporation. Mm -hmm. The Meru Water Corporation, this is a, is a body or an institution which is formed by the Meru County uh, Water and Sanitation Services Act mm. of 2014. Their sole mandate is water services in mainly the urban areas. Mm. We also, this is a, uh, an institution which we also want to ensure that in the various urban centers mm. we have got adequate water which is also safe and accessible. Mm -hmm. Remember as we move forward, uh, uh, we, we always talk about urbanization. Yes. Everybody wants to move to the urban areas, mm -hmm. to the urban areas, mm -hmm. and I believe we are in the, on the right track mm -hmm. and we are going to achieve this. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank so, you. So, uh, Mr. Kimah, this question yes. goes to you. Yes. Uh, if you live in Nairobi, you know that uh, most of the food that comes to Nairobi mm -hmm. actually comes from Meru. Yes. That means that for the food to be to come to Meru first, it yes. was planted. Mm -hmm. That means that there was plenty of water. Yes. Do you think that then water mm -hmm. is a priority to the national to the county government of Meru? I mean, is water really necessary? Do they need to put so much emphasis mm -hmm. on water? Yet we know that Meru County has sufficient water. I mean, those who do not live in Meru County, at least. Okay. Mm -hmm. You realize, uh, Lincoln, times are changing. Mm -hmm. There is an animal we are calling climate change. Things have changed. Mm -hmm. The Meru people used to know long time is not the Meru of today. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, uh, I have to inform, to inform you that uh, currently as we speak, we have got parts of this county mm -hmm. that are experiencing drought. Mm -hmm. And we have got parts of this county that are going to have a bumper harvest. Yes. The same county. Yes. So you realize that uh, in as much as you, you are talking about the Meru producing, that is true, mm -hmm. but this is as a result of the hand-working citizens we have in this county. Mm -hmm. That's why we want to provide more water mm -hmm. to increase what we have actually been producing. Mm -hmm. And you realize that world over, we are now shifting from rain-fed agriculture mm -hmm. and we are now moving towards what? Irrigation. Yes. And also this irrigation we are talking about, you realize that maybe as we move on in the program, I will be able to explain. Eh? Mm -hmm. We are talking about precision agriculture, mm -hmm. not the over and irrigation, mm -hmm. where we could have sprinklers, mm -hmm. sprinklers mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Remember also rivers and routine. Mm -hmm. So as we address this uh, issue of water, mm -hmm. we are not only addressing just bringing the water to the people. Mm -hmm. We have got another department, which is a department of environment. Yes. It's also handling the issue of mm -hmm. conservation. Mm -hmm. How do we conserve the existing natural resources, mm -hmm. the water resources that we have? Mm -hmm. We are talking about boreholes. Boreholes must be sustained right. by ensuring we have got conservation taking place, mm -hmm. especially on the higher grounds. Mm -hmm. People have to plant trees. That's why the Department of Environment is also working with us closely. Mm -hmm. As we sink these boreholes, we are also ensuring that our catchment areas are also being conserved mm -hmm. so that we can sustain the underground aquifers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mr. Kimathi, Kenneth Kimathi, mm -hmm. uh, that is a technique. Those are the technicalities. Yes. yes, thank you. Layman's language. Do you think it's really necessary? Do you think it should be prioritized as it has been prioritized? Well, I think uh, Link uh, 
you know water is life, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, the county government sinking a lot of money into water, mm -hmm. I think it's like sinking a lot of uh, money into life, okay? And into sustaining life itself, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you cannot do without water, but you can do without roads, mm -hmm. okay? You can do without uh, buildings, okay? In fact, you can do without your house. You can live outside, but you cannot live outside without water, okay? So water is of essence, and uh, it's not only for human beings, even for wildlife, I mean, uh, they, they, are, they, are, they are domestic uh, animals, okay? Mm -hmm. If you are rearing goats, uh, chicken and cows and all those, they need water, okay, for them to, to live. You need water for cooking. You need water to take a bath even if you are unemployed, so that you can go and look for a, for a job, okay. So without water, I don't think there is life. And uh, I don't think the county government is so foolish to sink its money or a taxpayer's money on an issue, non-issue project. That's why uh, uh, Governor Kiraito and his government have looked at the core issue that affects homesteads mm -hmm. and livelihoods, okay? It is not roads, okay? Roads is a top up, uh, upping the game of life, okay? Mm -hmm. But what about life itself? Life itself is all about water, okay? So I think uh, the governor and his team, uh, they have addressed the core problem of Wanjiku, mm -hmm. and that is water. That Wanjiku first live mm -hmm. and live well, live healthy. In a county, in a county that mm -hmm. uh, many perceive to be uh, to, to, to sufficiently have water. Uh, as uh, the CEO has said, mm -hmm. Meru has water, but I don't think it has adequate water. Okay, mm -hmm. because like you saw, I saw somewhere in Kambakia a clip somewhere in the Kambakia, mm -hmm. uh, the dam that, I mean, the, the borehole that has been dug there yes. by the county government. Mm -hmm. Those residents there are saying we are, we th we are thanking the county government mm -hmm. because we didn't have sufficient water. Mm -hmm. We used to depend on mewas. And the population now is so high because of the students that are coming and uh, looking for places to, to, to live. Mm -hmm. So the uh, mewas is not sufficient, mm -hmm. okay? Not that they don't have water, but they, they don't have sufficient water. And uh, if you don't have sufficient water, then also you are prone to diseases because you tend to use that same water mm -hmm. for two or three issues, okay? You clean this with that, you clean that with that, and that's where infections come in, mm -hmm. okay? So you create another crisis now, a health crisis, out of what should have solved your problem, that is water, because of inadequacy. Mm -hmm. So I think now, uh, what the government is doing, the county government, uh, it is upping the game of water, making it sufficient, mm -hmm. okay? And that will solve so many other problems, even health issues. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's look at that clip uh, from Kambakia and see whether it's true or false. It is Kambakia area in Meru County. Residents here for the past few years have been struggling to access water. Today, these residents have smiles on their faces. This comes after the county government led by Governor Kireto Morongi was able to keep its promise of sinking borehole in the area. Today, they can access fresh water easily at the borehole without much hassle. The residents have come out to thank the county government for its good work and they believe with the availability of water in the area, farming will now be improved. <laughs> Kolema so chakere mashimu a to kere isun ka dono to bo turi kana akombo to di diri aru jiruru non to zura to sedia na to chiu mes na to to ikere bindi ke na to ka agunika na murungu a mudali me boega nya nya bala ba tiaja ba ke do abali on ke na ba do abali a mo to wa tani rite ke na to isira aru jiruru ngugi na to kugi boega ikere isu murungu a mudali me. 
Kambakia area is surrounded by various resources including Meru National Polytechnic and also the nearby Nkonga Forest which extends to Mount Kenya. This borehole is one of the many boreholes sunk by the county government all over the county. These residents have also asked the governor to now come in and help them once again so that water can be direct to their various homesteads. Sukuma <laughs> Farming in this area is expected to go a step higher now and they have asked their fellows to avoid laziness and use the available water for their own benefit. They have been encouraged to also try fish farming and other water related activities. Dennis Mutuma reporting for Destiny Television. I think on if you allow me, maybe also to try and earn from uh, what uh, uh, my friend here has said. He seems to be very philosophical. <laughs> I really want to agree with him 100%. Yes. You realize that uh, most of the time we have got conflict mm -hmm. on the grazing zone of this county. Mm -hmm. These conflicts are brought about by pasture and water, and water. Mm. with our neighboring communities. Right, right. When we sink boreholes and provide water in the grazing community, mm -hmm. I want to concur with him because we are going to prevent conflicts mm -hmm. with our neighboring communities. Yes. Remember, most of the times, mm -hmm. uh, most of the people want to be so uh, self-centered. Yes or what we refer to as a, uh, they want to be very anthropocentric. Yes. They want to think about me, myself, no. I and alone. <laughs> <laughs> but right. it's the high time also you realize that through the provision of water in yes. these dry areas, yes. we are becoming more ecocentric. Mm -hmm. And we, when we talk about ecocentrism, here we are bringing the people, mm -hmm. and also we are bringing on board the other living things, the yes. animals, the wild animals he's yes. talking about yes. here. So we are providing that water on the grazing zones, and you realize that even conflict, the social scientists will be able to tell us in the next mm -hmm. five years to yes. come or ten years to mm -hmm. come, when these boils were sunk mm -hmm. in the grazing zones mm -hmm. of this county, mm -hmm. even conflicts went down. Yes. Went down. Yes. Right now we cannot be able to prove it, mm -hmm. but watch the space. In the we'll next five years, we'll be here. ten years, we will be here. <laughs> we'll be here. You will tell me. Yes. <laughs> we are going to have conflict yes. going down. Exactly. Yes. Five, five years from now, before 2022, sure. we'll have you again. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. And that mm -hmm. will be the first question. That will be a testimony. <laughs> that will be a testimony. How yes. far are you in the implementation of Meru County uh, government's water and uh, irrigation projects? Uh, thank you, Lincoln. I want to tackle this uh, question uh, this way. Yes. We, when, the, when our government came in place, mm -hmm. We implemented 2017-2018 uh, water and irrigation projects, and currently we are implementing the 2018-2019 uh, water and irrigation projects. Uh, yeah. We had community uh, projects yes. that uh, the department was implementing, we had irrigation projects. I can be able to, to say that uh, of the community projects that we were implementing uh, the, uh, the previous year, 90% mm -hmm. of them are complete. 
and the ten percent you realize that uh, in project planning mm -hmm. there are always the issues here and yes, there yes. but we we have resolved the issues and the ten percent in the next one month mm -hmm. those projects will be complete mm -hmm. then we have got the world development uh, funded uh, water projects mm -hmm. within the department i can be able to tell you satisfactorily that we were able to to carry out those projects mm -hmm and the communities are enjoying the benefits of, of, of uh, those projects. Mm -hmm. They may not be many, but you realize that uh, the World Development Fund mm -hmm. uh, has got uh, its own framework mm -hmm. on how it is run. Mm -hmm. But now, the, we have got uh, a flagship project that is uh, being carried out by the department, mm -hmm. the Boholes project. Mm -hmm. uh, just like you've put it, yes. uh, everybody in this county talk about water, mm -hmm. They only know about boreholes, mm -hmm. which is true and is a very yes. good thing. Yes. For the boreholes, I can be able to tell you we have uh, uh, really done a lot. Mm -hmm. I can say we have also finalized mm -hmm. and we are entering into phase two mm -hmm. of these projects. Right. We have got a few, uh, less than five mm -hmm. sites mm -hmm. of the previous uh, year that uh, we've not uh, managed to actualize mm -hmm. them. But also in the, by, before the end of this month, mm -hmm. February, we will be done with this project mm -hmm. and with these five sites. Mm -hmm. And it's basically challenges uh, beyond human mm -hmm. nature. Yes. And uh, we are tackling the challenges. Mm -hmm. We are not giving up. And we're into the phase two mm -hmm. of the Boa House, which mm -hmm. is the flagship uh, project. Mm -hmm. So I can, uh, I can be able to, 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 to inform you with the confidence yes. and with the certainty that in as far as the Boa House projects are concerned, and in as far as you go to those benef people who are benefiting, mm -hmm. go to Tuale Boahul, mm -hmm. you will find people irrigating. Mm -hmm. Go to Dunia Boahul, mm -hmm. in some parts in Bore, mm -hmm. you will find people irrigating. Mm -hmm. Go to Machako Boahul, you will find people doing small farming mm -hmm. with this water. Mm -hmm. We are impacting and we are into the second phase mm -hmm. of sinking more Boahuls to the residents of this county. Mm -hmm. And one thing I can uh, assure you is that uh, we have also done our our checks and the people are happy with the projects. Mm -hmm. If there is anybody who is not happy with the project, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. he really needs to come out clearly and tell us what is really mm -hmm. not happening. Mm -hmm. For this financial year, we are also doing very well. Mm -hmm. All our projects are with the contractors. Mm -hmm. We just signed the contracts last week on Friday with the, with the contractors. Mm -hmm. We are adding oversights mm -hmm. and we believe because we had a meeting with all our contractors, we agreed that uh, by end of May, mm -hmm. these projects should be done. Yeah. They should be complete, mm -hmm. unless there are some unforeseen circumstances or issues that may arise. Mm -hmm. For example, if we have a landslide, mm -hmm. where we are drilling a bowl, definitely, <laughs> we are going to have the project in the lane. Yeah. But we pray and hope that all these uh, factors uh, are not, uh, these issues will not arise mm -hmm. and we want to ensure that we deliver these projects the 190 of this county mm -hmm. by the end of May. Mm -hmm. So we expect by then we will be done and we'll be talking about another phase. I hope you are going to host me again, again? over here <laughs> again. so that I can give you the progress. <laughs> yes. But I uh, want to promise you, uh, Lincoln, mm -hmm. if you have time with your people, let us tour this county mm -hmm. and you'll see the good job that has been done mm -hmm. by our team leader mm -hmm. that is our governor mm -hmm. and us there as the lieutenants to say, to ensure that we provide water mm -hmm. to the residents of uh, uh, Meru County <laughs> Very nice recommendation, ya governor. Na sema very nice. Wabi makofe. Asante sasa tuelekeni wanjani wata. Maji, okay. Ana sema imetoka, amefungua, ukatoka. Maji katoka. Sasa anana wa mikono. Anto beto. Mr. Kenneth Kimathi, do you think it's all necessary? So many boreholes, mm -hmm. yet we have rivers. Why not dams? 
<laughs> Let me also ask you a question. Uh, yes. Mm. Because for me, mm-hmm. I love water. Yes. Okay, and I like the project. <laughs> okay. Uh, for me, it doesn't matter how water comes to me, mm-hmm. as long as I find water. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you think we have rivers? We have rivers, yes. But Meru has gone uh, through a period of inadequacy as far as what is concerned. Mm-hmm. Uh, rains are unreliable and mm-hmm. all that. Uh, there are seasons that people have not harvested as uh, they should. Because of what? Not because of lack of fertilizer mm-hmm. or human resource, but because of sufficient water. Mm-hmm. Yet there has been rivers flowing. Okay? Rivers have been flowing mm-hmm. while people are starving in Meru, right? So it's not an issue of water flowing. Okay? but water being delivered mm-hmm. to people, okay? Because a river can flow 200 kilometers away, okay? So do you, do you go and fetch that water and come and irrigate? <laughs> no. But when water is delivered at your doorstep, either through sinking a borehole or creating a dam, I think that is a step in the right direction. And that is a, a very huge step even in uplifting the, mm-hmm. the living standards of people. Mm-hmm. So many people are making noise and they are saying uh, how and why has this water come? Why is the county drilling boiled? Okay? And why? And who is doing it? I don't think that is a question that Wanjiku is interested mm-hmm. in. The normal monarchy is interested in, in availing water. First for its consumption and second for its development agribusiness and all that. So for, for Anjiko, I don't think he's concerned about if the water has been delivered by a monkey or a lion. Mm-hmm. If it is through a miracle or an act of uh, nuclear science, mm-hmm. that is irrelevant. Mm-hmm. What is important is that water has been delivered and sufficient water, mm-hmm. so to speak, mm-hmm. irrespective of flowing rivers and all that. Mm-hmm. Yes. As also, say, maybe to add uh, yes. on that, uh, Lincoln. Sure. Remember, we are very clear. When we began this interview, I was able to clearly state that mm-hmm. uh, as, as, uh, as we look into the needs of each and every ward, mm-hmm. or the needs in the various corners of this county, mm-hmm. the issue of rivers, remember the areas with rivers, but they have got also their own mm-hmm. challenges, mm-hmm. which we are also addressing. Mm-hmm. That's why, for example, the other day we were launching, uh, we were commissioning a project, yes. in Aru, irrigation water project. Mm-hmm. It is now reaching the the far the asal or the arid uh, or, or, or the or, or the the lower part mm. of Abogeta East. East. Won't mm. you know? People will say in Abogeta there is water everywhere. Mm. I hope people can visit the lower parts of Abogeta East. Mm-hmm. These areas are dry. They need water, mm-hmm. and as a result, we were able now to rehabilitate that. Uh, 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 the Iraru irrigation uh, yes. water project. Mm-hmm. Now people downstream in Keringa, at Keringa, they are getting water. Mm-hmm. We have a demo farm. Why are we having a demonstration farm there? Is to train these people on the modern ways of what? It is carrying out irrigation, do you do precision agriculture. Do you do it for free? It's for free. We have our agricultural extension officers mm-hmm. on the ground. Mm-hmm. And the demo farm, it's now, uh, we are we're in the process of handing over the demo farm mm-hmm. To the to the agriculture uh, department, mm-hmm. so that they uh, farmers can go get trained by the extension services mm-hmm. uh, officers mm-hmm. that we have there. Mm-hmm. Remember, also these uh, these uh, these services must be demand driven, mm-hmm. isn't it? We are not going to call people, but people will be trained. Mm-hmm. Are you together? So you realize that the needs of some of these parts where we are talking about the rivers. Mm-hmm. They also got also challenges that this government is also what and Remember, most of these uh, most of these uh, irrigation projects or even water supply projects in the rural areas were done like 20 years ago, 30 years ago. But we usually say that uh, in 20 years time we should come and review the design, mm-hmm. review this project, mm-hmm. and ask ourselves how is the population grown? Yes, is this water serving these people? Now you realize that our government is focusing on the eight areas to work with the existing water projects. Mm-hmm. And also, if there are new water projects, how are they viable? Mm-hmm. So that we can provide more water in these areas, we are saying, mm-hmm. we have got what? Rivers. But we have got asset areas. And when you read the manifesto 
of our governor that we're implementing, it's very clear. When you read the sector plan of our department, it is also very clear. We are talking about the alpha areas. Mm -hmm. This is where we are focusing more on exploiting the ground water. Mm -hmm. And also, you also realize that uh, as we exploit this ground water, we don't want to make it again very expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, water can be very expensive. Mm -hmm. What is very expensive in some parts of this world? Mm -hmm. But for us, we are saying, mm -hmm. because these are community rain or they are community managed boreholes, mm -hmm. we are installing solar. Mm -hmm. So they are using what? Solar. Mm -hmm. We are providing uh, water storage. Mm -hmm. the, tanks, yeah. the tanks. So that it can, uh, during the day, when there is the solar energy, mm -hmm. you will realize that now these pumps can be able to run and store the water. People can, people can are able to come and fetch the water. Mm -hmm. Again, we are engaging the community to run these poles. Mm -hmm. If, for example, like in Kibriti, we have got a very high yielding borehole. Mm -hmm. We are asking the community, we are asking the, co the committee, mm -hmm. why can't you expand this project? Now is the project, it's yours. Mm -hmm. Expand it. If you feel you can even serve the lower markets with this water, meter them, yes. it's upon you. Mm -hmm. Because one of the key things that we want to do about the sustainability of this project mm -hmm. is ownership. Mm -hmm. How do you ensure that this project will be there 20 years to come? Mm -hmm. It's ownership. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the people that are benefiting from these bowls, mm -hmm. from these water projects, own the projects. And you own the project from the moment mm -hmm. the project or the borehole or was conceptualized. Did you conceptualize this project just in the office? No. Currently, what is happening, there is a lot of public participation that is taking place mm -hmm. with the finance department. Mm -hmm. So that the one inchi, the one jikos mm -hmm. that our philosopher is talking about mm -hmm. here today, mm -hmm. they can be able, we can be able to get their input. Mm -hmm. At the moment we get this input, we can now be able to develop projects mm -hmm. with the one mm -hmm. in mind. Mm -hmm. And the one inchi will be in a position now to come and own these projects mm -hmm. finally. Mm -hmm. So sustainability of this uh, project had, has been uh, uh, fully talked about mm -hmm. and we have really captured it. Mm -hmm. So, Bona Lincoln, I was trying to tell you that yes. uh, where there are rivers, they have got their own issues mm -hmm. that we are addressing. Mm -hmm. Where there are no rivers, we have got mm -hmm. the issues that we are what? Mm -hmm. That we are addressing. So they are unique yes. and the problems also, they are very unique mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in nature. Mm -hmm. Maybe can you tell us mm -hmm. uh, what specific locations uh, are Wanainchi, as Mr. Kenneth Kimathi is, uh, is Wanjiko enjoying mm -hmm. uh, the water courtesy of your projects and boreholes? I can tell you for sure that uh, mm -hmm. walk to any ward where we have sunk boreholes mm -hmm. in uh, Tigania East, mm -hmm. you can go, uh, you, ca you can visit any borehole that we have sunk there. We have got what we refer to as the special ward. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, a place known as tractor. People are enjoying water. Mm -hmm. This is on the lower sides of uh, this is on the lower parts of Modara mm -hmm. one. Very very arid areas. Mm -hmm. You realize that residents there are getting water. Mm -hmm. This is two ones where we are bordering with the with the Siolo. That is in Modara one. Mm -hmm. People are getting water. Mm -hmm. uh, earlier on in Kianjai mentioned about the Machako Boaho. Mm -hmm. Mention of Tuala Boaho. People are getting water. Go to Bore. But we have Dunia Bohaut. People mm -hmm. are getting are drinking water. Mm -hmm. They are getting water. Go to Egembe. I really don't have to even talk about it. There was this clip mm -hmm. where this woman was even praying. Mm -hmm. eh? when, 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 when we struck a bow in an area where people really had no water. Mm -hmm. There is water there. We are launching uh, bowels each and every every other day. Mm -hmm. So I can assure you, in the in the Asal five the, the five sub counties. At least in each and every world, mm -hmm. we have got three mm -hmm. to two boreholes, mm -hmm. and the people are taking water. In Imenti, you know, the year, for example, you have the Kambakia boreholes. Mm -hmm. The philosopher, at least, uh, mm -hmm. knows about it. Knows about, about it. it. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy about that. Really working. It's really <laughs> working. Okay. Yes. And so, and so, so everything that uh, Mr. George Kimathi is saying <laughs> is agreeable to you. Definitely. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. I'm asking you, Lincoln. Yes. Find time. I will walk you around this county. Uh -huh and I'll show you where each and every bowl is. Mm -hmm. And you'll find the people lining mm -hmm. to fetch water. And they are drawing water from these bowls. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, and wait for that time. Yes, <laughs> you're welcome. The boys on my pot. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about the challenges. Mm. What are the challenges that you face in the implementation of your products? Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. The biggest challenge, maybe which I can uh, mention about here, is how to manage the, the Wajiko expectation. <laughs> yeah. Wajiko wants water right now. Uh, right now. <laughs> is it about what you promised? I'm telling you that is what we promised. Yes. That is the biggest challenge we are having as a department. Yes. Yes. That's the biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. They want water right now. Yeah. The machine is there on site drilling the bore hole. Mm -hmm. They want the water yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> not today. That's, That's the biggest challenge, challenge I can yeah. tell you. We go to rehabilitation of uh, existing uh, water projects yes. that we are rehabilitating. Mm -hmm. They are like asking, when are you completing this project? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is a small each here and there uh, with a contractor. And they are the people who will report to you the contractor is not on site today. Yes. We want the, the water. <laughs> we want the water today. <laughs> so, so, so they are your watchdogs? Yes, they are our watchdogs. Why not? You don't need an oversight committee. <laughs> <laughs> Wajiko is doing their part. Let the Wajiko do his job. <laughs> let him be. Let the Wajikos be the oversight. Mm -hmm. we delay? About, what do you have to say about that? Mm. Uh, How do you even manage that expectation? Well, I can say Wajiko has very high expectations yes. with this government. Uh -huh. And I think it is because he knows the government will deliver. Yes. Otherwise, you cannot expect much uh -huh. from just a place that you know will not yield anything. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. you cannot expect much yes. from a poor farm. Mm -hmm. You expect much mm -hmm. according to the fertility mm -hmm. of the farm. Mm -hmm. So I know Anjiko knows that the government will deliver. Mm -hmm. That's why he's putting pressure yes. on the government. Mm -hmm. And again, one one beautiful thing about this government is the devolving part of it. Okay, devolution. This government has gone ahead, what I can see what, according to what it's doing mm -hmm. on the ground, mm -hmm. and devolving resources further to Anjiko. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like, it's giving Anjiko an uh, opportunity yes. to define her or his own development, okay? And be part of the implementation of that development mm -hmm. and availing resources for the implementation of the same. Yes. So I think that it's a wonderful job being done around. Mm -hmm. I think we should give credit to our credit is due. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Mr. George. Kate. Yeah. Maybe to, to mm. add on that on the challenge. Sure. The other challenge is beyond human nature. You realize that uh, uh, there is technology that mm. we use, for example, in trying to determine or to carry out mm. the surveys for where we are locating the bows. Mm. There are some parts of this uh, county. You'll sink a bow, strike the water at uh, maybe 160 meters. Mm -hmm. But as you go down mm -hmm. two, three meters, the water disappears. Mm -hmm. The Is water disappears, Lincoln. It's possible. It's possible. I don't know. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> but we have got a, a, I have to appreciate our team. Mm -hmm. uh, we have got a very competent uh, yes. team mm -hmm. that we are working with, where we have experienced such challenges. Mm -hmm. We are quickly moving to identify mm -hmm. new sites. And I uh, can tell you, if you go to Akirangondu, yes. the area MC and his residents, mm -hmm. the beneficiaries, mm -hmm. we have struggled with a bowl, no water. Mm -hmm. But right now, we have always three bowls are operational. Mm -hmm. We just strike the uh, water. Last week, we are now moving into equipping uh, the bowl. Mm -hmm. Lincoln, we are not giving up. Mm -hmm. uh, you realize that the, the geological formations yes. of some of uh, some, some areas mm -hmm. in this county, mm -hmm. you sink the bowl, and then the bowl collapses. And when it collapses, the drilling bit is stuck. So you have to be on the site for like two, three weeks, even a month, mm -hmm. trying to, 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 to ensure that uh, you remove the wood, the drilling mm -hmm. bit and move to another wood mm -hmm. site. So these are some of the challenges that, uh, uh, that we have, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, can, uh, we are addressing them by moving to other sites mm -hmm. because we want to ensure we have water. And even as we move to other sites, yes. we have to consult to Anjiko. Mm -hmm. We just don't run away because it has collapsed. Yes. We move next to another site. Mm -hmm. You realize that uh, when we began sinking bowels, our first bowel, we were sinking it at the Kirindara. Mm -hmm. The bowel collapsed. We lost mm -hmm. circulation. But I can tell you, one month down the line, we went back to Kirindara. Mm -hmm. Few meters from the first site, mm -hmm. we have water. Mm -hmm. You go to Kirindara, People are getting water. Mm -hmm. So we are not giving up. Yeah. These are challenges, they are normal. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can assure you, 
We are moving. We are moving. Mm -hmm. We are moving. Mr. George Kimathi, yes. you know the gubernatorial is a political post. Mm -hmm. That means that uh, the governor uh, Kiraitu Murongi was politically elected. Mm -hmm. He contested. That means for you to separate his manifesto and politics, it's very hard. But what message do you have for those politicizing uh, water projects? I think our philosopher can answer that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a few minutes ago, just said that uh, yes. water is life. Yes. I want to tell those people that uh, are joking, are more politicizing water. Yes. They are joking with the life of residents of this mm -hmm. county mm -hmm. who have got no water. Mm -hmm. People are getting water where they never used to have water. Mm -hmm. People used to buy a 20 jerry can, mm -hmm. 100 shillings, mm -hmm. even 200 shillings. Yes. And now those people have water. Mm -hmm. You want to bring politics mm -hmm. into this. Mm -hmm. You are joking with the life of the residents of this county. We are not, as a department, as a county, we are not, go, we are not into that mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. People have been politicking about the issues of the cost of these yes. boards, mm -hmm. cost of these boards. Mm -hmm. Bwana Lincoln, make it clear. The constitution is very clear. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you want to get any information on how the public is benefiting, this is public money that we are spending. Mm -hmm. Use the right channels, you'll get this information. Mm -hmm. People are talking that the Bwao is costing this, one Bwao is costing this. Use the right channels, get the information. Mm -hmm. Why misinform the, the why misinform and mislead mm -hmm. the residents of this county? We also operate under certain laws and regulations. Mm -hmm. The public finance have got an act. Mm -hmm. And you realize that the finance act is very clear on how we spend public money. So use the right channels. Get to know these questions that you are asking about boas, about boas. Use the right channels. Mm -hmm. You will get the information, but don't mislead the people. Mm -hmm. Do not mislead the people. Mr. Kenneth Kimafi, yes. do you think uh, those who are making noise are mm -hmm. just making noise? Are they raising a red flag or are they just, is it just a false alarm? Well, I think uh, about red flags, mm -hmm. I don't think the, the flags are red. Mm -hmm. If they are red, they are red in disguise. Mm -hmm. Because I think they are being dishonest, even with their own mamas, yes. with their own parents, with their own brothers and sisters mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. Because what is of essence is water, okay? It's not the wise and the wire force. It's about water, okay? If you are hungry, Lincoln, I think the only important thing that matters to you is food on your table, mm -hmm. not how it has arrived, mm -hmm. okay? So what becomes more important when food has arrived? Is it the way it came? Mm -hmm. Or the fact that food is on, the, on your table and your, your, problem are sort, your problems are sorted? So I think they are trying to gain uh, mileage, whether political or otherwise, using a critical, mm -hmm. critical item in the life of the normal monarch, which is water. Mm -hmm. I think they, they can better make noise about something else, but not water. Mm -hmm. And I think they are being just utterly dishonest mm -hmm. with themselves. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Mr. Kenneth Kimathi, good or bad? And I'll ask this question also, to, uh, you also asked this question. Yes. Good or bad? Mm -hmm. uh, the governor's manifesto. Can we really separate politics from it? Well, uh, politics and development are two sides of the same coin, mm -hmm. okay? But uh, as President Moy said, well, President Moy left us with only one statement that really is important to me, mm -hmm. or has helped me a lot. Siya uh, Sambaya, my Shambaya, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So there is bad and good politics. Mm -hmm. Politics is not bad as such, okay? Uh, I'm a student of sociology. Mm -hmm. My first degree was sociology and geography, University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And there is a, a, a unit called uh, sociology of politics. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, Max Weber says uh, man is a political animal. Okay, whatever man does is politics. So politics is a way of life. Mm -hmm. The way you live your life is politics. So what matters is. Is that politics good or bad? Okay, so if politics is helping you and uplifting your life, that is good politics, and that's what you need. Mm -hmm. If politics is dethroning you and making your, your your life miserable, then that is bad politics. Okay, so I think even the way you manage your own family, the way you relate with your kids, with your wife, that is politics. 
okay but that is good politics because uh, politics is all about harnessing efforts and ideas towards one specific direction either for progress or, or for backwardness so if it's for progress then that is good politics so in a, in, in a nutshell i can say uh, the government is pursuing good politics mm -hmm. okay because every development in governance has to rest on the bedrock of politics mm -hmm. yeah that is the governance system and i think uh, the good politics of this government is helping Wanjiku. Mm -hmm. yes mr george came out do you want to add on that i just also want to add uh, a little bit yes i'm not really a politician <laughs> <laughs> You're but uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> let me say this in as much as the politicians try uh -huh. to do their work, uh -huh. which is okay, yes. let us have constructive politics. Mm -hmm. As you try to punch holes into the governor's manifesto, mm -hmm. do it constructively. Mm -hmm. Because why will you mislead the residents of this county telling them Abuao is costing this? Let me ask you, Buana Lincoln, mm -hmm. and my philosopher friend here mm -hmm. that I've met today. Mm -hmm. When you sink a bowl to a depth of 100 meters and another one to a depth of 100 meters, mm -hmm. but the yield of the water is different. One has got, for example, 40 cubic meters of water. Mm -hmm. The other one, the one has got uh, uh, 20 cubic meters of water. Mm -hmm. Really, can the cost of those mm -hmm. bowls be, be the same? No. No. Irrespective of the fact that the depth is the same. Yes. No. Remember, the yield is different. Mm -hmm. The yield determines the size of the pump mm -hmm. that you have to install. Mm -hmm. And the pumps, if they are different sizes, definitely the costing is going to be what? To be different. To be different. Mm -hmm. So why mislead the residents of this county? Mm -hmm. Why mislead the citizens of this county mm -hmm. that we have got bows which are overpriced mm -hmm. without following the correct channels mm -hmm. to try and ask for this information? Mm -hmm. Ask for it. Mm -hmm. We've got bowls with a depth of 310 meters. Deep. Mm -hmm. We are talking about 0 0.31 kilometers. Wow. That's the depth of a bowl. Wow. How do you expect that bowl to, 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 to cost? What is the market rate? Take even the, just the normal market rate mm -hmm. for, for, for sinking bowls. Mm -hmm. Take it even at 8,000. Mm -hmm. 300 meters. We are talking about 2.4 million. Mm -hmm. Will that bowl cost? That's a bowl. Somewhere in the game, but not. Mm -hmm. 310 what? meters. Mm -hmm. We've got another bowl which is 120 meters. Can they cost the same? Mm -hmm. So, why should politicians mislead the residents of this county mm -hmm. that bowls are costing the same? It's wrong. It is very wrong. Mm -hmm. So, if somebody wants to politic, do it constructively, mm -hmm. do it with the facts. Mm -hmm. That is what we are telling our people. Mm -hmm. To watch a Sia Sambaya, just like the, the philosopher says. Yes. <laughs> Sia Sambaya, <laughs> Mesha 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 well, well. Yes. Mm. So let people come get information. Mm. It's, in the, it's in the public arena for mm. you to come mm. get the information. Mm. The philosopher was a good student of yes. M1. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> at least more than 90% of your uh, projects, uh, especially borehole projects, mm -hmm. are successful. What measures, what plans do you have in place to have them sustainable? I said again, uh, Lincoln, mm -hmm. ownership by Wanjiku. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ownership. They must own mm -hmm. the projects. How about you as, 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 as a county government? That's what we are doing. Mm -hmm. How are you doing it? You realize that the balls, for example, that we are sinking, mm -hmm. we are forming committees. Mm -hmm. we, are com we are forming seven member committees. Mm -hmm. And four representatives must come from the community. Mm -hmm. And not just the community, mm -hmm. they must be beneficiaries of this particular mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. Then we need to have our own our own administrator mm -hmm. where the bow is uh, sighted or located, mm -hmm. also as a member. Mm -hmm. We also need to have we also have mm -hmm. the chief mm -hmm. or the assistant chief mm -hmm. as a member of this particular committee. Mm -hmm. Remember, we, 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 we said we are, we are using solar power. Mm -hmm. We have got several solar panels, like they are yielding uh, balls. Mm -hmm. Some have even 60 panels. Mm -hmm. Security. So in case of theft, yeah. that's why we are bringing in the, the administration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes? Administration. The internal security. Mm -hmm. They are there. Then finally, we have got one representative of the One Development Committee. Mm -hmm. 
because we have got world development committees mm -hmm. in each and every want. Mm -hmm. That's a discussion for another day. Mm -hmm. So we have got also what? The representative. Mm -hmm. And you realize that these four members were to be chosen by the community. Mm -hmm. Plus our three people, these are seven members, mm -hmm. member committee. Yeah. They run the bowl on behalf of the members. Mm -hmm. And this, they have been taken through uh, the initial training mm -hmm. where they, were, they underwent the commissioning. Currently, the Department of uh, Monitoring and Evaluation, they want to organize more trainings mm -hmm. for these committees. Mm -hmm. our, our resource people are going to come from, uh, uh, from a Water Resource Management Authority. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, I mean, not the Water Resource Management Authority, but Water Resource Authority. It was formerly Warman. Okay. Now we call it the Water Resource Authority. Mm -hmm. You realize that these are, th these are going to be the key personnel, the key people who are going to come and train these communities because mm -hmm. they also have to abide by the existing regulations mm -hmm. in as far as BOWS is concerned. Yes. There, are those, there is that fee that they have to pay, annual fee, mm -hmm. to the regulator. Mm -hmm. So we, are really, we really want to ensure that the, the community own uh, these projects. Mm -hmm. Also, we have also trained at least two people who are able to operate mm -hmm. these boreholes. So that not everybody is handling the what? Yes. The boreholes. Yes. In other words, this this boreholes are also creating employment mm -hmm. Lincoln. Yes. Two. Two people. Mm -hmm. Per site. Mr. Kenneth Kimasi, yes. do you per think site. it's a good idea to have uh, the community handle the boreholes and not leave uh, that entirely to the county government, those that drill the boreholes? Maybe before the philosopher uh, uh, yeah. answers yes. that, yes. Uh, Lincoln. Yes. Remember also the Water mm -hmm. Act. Mm -hmm that we have of 2016, yes. and even the one that was reviewed of 2002, commodifies uh -huh. water. It attaches a price mm -hmm. to water. Mm -hmm. And you realize that this water is not for free. Mm -hmm. Because you give things for free, they will be abused. Yes. They will be abused. There is, a, there, there, there is this theory, maybe the philosopher knows it, we call it the tragedy of the commons. Mm -hmm. When you give goods for free, and now when we talk about natural resources, mm -hmm. You give natural resources, air for free, give water for free, soil for free, they tend to be abused. Mm -hmm. So you must attach a price. Yes. So you realize that these committees, we have informed them, and they have held, most of them are continuing to hold meetings with their members, mm -hmm. that there must be a fee attached mm -hmm. to this water. Mm -hmm. Because you give it for free, it will be abused. Definitely. These bowels will be run down. Mm -hmm. And the moment, for example, the, 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 the pumps get spoiled, mm -hmm. They will come back to us. Mm -hmm. Will we have really assisted them? We will not. So they have got their own kitty. Mm -hmm. And uh, a good example is in Gia Boao, for example. It's managing their, bua, their, their water mm -hmm. very well. Mm -hmm. Go to Kangeta. They have got uh, their committees are running mm -hmm. very well. Mm -hmm. These are cases. Lincoln, mm -hmm. find time I take you around. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll yes. do that. Soon enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so kind of I think it's the right way to, do, to manage and to ensure sustainability community ownership, okay? Because uh, a, lo a few years back, mm -hmm. development projects have turned to be white elephants mm -hmm. in the long run, mm -hmm. even CDF-funded ones, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Because one entity tend ten to say, after benefiting for a while, and maybe something goes wrong, either a machine breaks down or anything, they tend to say, these are a county governments, bro. Miao, wakujo watengeneze, okay? Ama, Okay? But when the community owns it, okay, if it breaks down, they, they take the, the necessary step yes. to make their thing work. Okay? So community ownership, I think, guarantees sustainability in the wrong run. Because it ceases to be the county's project. Mm -hmm. It becomes our project. Yes. Oh my. Mr. George. Yes, Lincoln. Are you through with sinking boreholes countywide? We have five years. Mm -hmm. We are just in the second year. July we begin another year. Mm -hmm. This is a project. Of, it's a flagship project. Mm -hmm. It's embedded in the CIDP. Mm -hmm. And you realize that uh, the CIDP now actualizes... What's CIDP? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a development tool. This is a planning tool yes. for the county. Uh -huh. This is a legal document that is required by any county government. Mm -hmm. Is our plan for five years. Mm -hmm. What are we going to implement? Mm -hmm. 
And the process of developing a CADP, you realize that uh, we have to align it to the government of the day mm -hmm. manifesto. manifesto. So the Boahol issue is a flagship project for our department. Mm -hmm. We are there, we've just begun the phase two, mm -hmm. and we'll do phase three, phase four, until the five years are done. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you we are going to change uh, Meru County. The other areas, there will be water. Mm -hmm. There will be water. There will be water. Mm -hmm. We can take that to bank. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. George, baby, finally, what can Wananchi expect from your ministry in the year 2019? We are going to provide more water, mm -hmm. more clean water. The water is also going to be accessible. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about accessibility here, Lincoln, uh, my good friend. Yes. We are talking about reducing the distance that the Wanjiko has to walk mm -hmm. to access water. Mm -hmm. We want to bring the water closer to the people. Mm -hmm. And if Wanjiko, if, if, uh, if uh, Karimi, mm -hmm. are we together? Yeah, if Karimi mm -hmm. or Makena Ogaki <laughs> was trekking 20 kilometers mm -hmm. to go and draw water, look for water, mm -hmm. if we make it five kilometers, Accessibility. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you will have assistant Karen mm -hmm. McKenna mm -hmm. and then Torivi and then Tomocho is who are handing kettle mm -hmm. yes. down there. Mm -hmm. yes. Because there will be water which is easily accessible. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, people, in the near future, mm -hmm. maybe uh, my colleague, my namesake, mm -hmm. is a sociologist. Yes. In the next five years, he will be telling us. Even the issue of dropouts has gone down yeah, yeah. because children are not being fed, mm. sent uh, to go uh, to go and fetch water. Mm. Come in the evening, then the following days when they go to school. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this water is impacting not only just uh, to the Wanjikos or to the big people yes, only, yeah. to the elders, yeah. even to the children. Mm -hmm. Talk of their health, issue of going to school, mm -hmm. the amount of money we are going to save. You can imagine how much are you going to save if you are buying a jerrycan at 50 shillings. You are now buying two jerrycans mm -hmm. at five shillings. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. So you are talking about economic empowerment of mm -hmm. our people mm -hmm. down there. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are providing safe water. Yes. So we are talking about health of the people. Mm -hmm. It's also going to, to improve. Mm -hmm. So you, 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 you can be sure, Lincoln, that by the end of the five years, we are going to empower our people in a very different way, mm -hmm. just by availing water. Mm -hmm. Just by availing water. Mm -hmm. You can be sure of that. Mr. Kenneth Kimaki, yes. maybe yes. one word for those politics in this water project. One word. I think uh, we should embrace water. That's what I'm saying. At all costs, mm -hmm. we should embrace water mm -hmm. because water is life and water is our livelihood. Mm -hmm. A well-fed nation is a progressive nation. If we embrace water, it will be a very progressive county, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, the issue of uh, supporting livelihoods and having so many NGOs uh, capitalizing on the poverty of Wanjiko will be a thing of the past. We want to have in Meru, I'm looking to a position whereby in Meru we'll have NGOs supporting entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. agribusiness, not capitalizing on the poverty of Wanjiko mm -hmm. because he or she doesn't have water. Mm -hmm. That's, that's my take. That's your take. Yeah. Mr. George Kimathi, yes. in short for this. I want to promise the residents of this county we are going to ensure that we bring water to areas where there was no water and there is need and there is dire need for water. Mm -hmm. We have done it in some areas and we have got four years a year and we are going to do it. Mm -hmm. Also Lincoln note that we have dealt so much on uh, what we have done as a county. Also remember, as a county, we have been able to work with the national government. Mm -hmm. Tana Water Service Board. Mm -hmm. The other day, you, you, you saw our governor launching uh, 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 the, 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 the water pan mm -hmm. in the Dumoru area. Mm -hmm. These are collaborations. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are serving the same residents that the, yes. same, the national government yes. is also yes. serving. Mm -hmm. So also, we, are, we intend to build more collaborations mm -hmm so that we can bring more resources that are geared towards uh, uh, ensuring mm -hmm. that we have got adequate water. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the, the National uh, Water Harvesting and Storage Authority mm -hmm. uh, is a new institution in this country. Mm -hmm. We also want to see as a, as a, as a county how we're going to work or how we're going to collaborate with these people mm -hmm. so that they bring to us 
the issue of the dams that you are talking about. Mm -hmm. You realize that the, 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 the dams, the mega dams, this is an issue of the national government. Mm -hmm. So we want to ask ourselves, can we also go and tap into this new institution? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the storage, yes. the water harvesting and storage uh, authority, mm -hmm. they bring, give us something. We also want to look at the, the National Irrigation Board. We collaborate with those people. They bring more resources and our little resources as accounting mm -hmm. to ensure that there is enough water to all the residents. Yes. And this water must be accessible mm -hmm. and safe, mm -hmm. adequate yes. to the residents of the, uh, this county. Mm -hmm. We have got no other job is to ensure that this water is available for domestic, then for irrigation. Mm -hmm. And then we can be able to move forward as a healthy nation. And we say we are a wealthy uh, Meru County government mm -hmm. and its residents. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lincoln. Ladies and gentlemen, they say you cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> For sure, these mm -hmm. guys are not joking. They, when they say water, water everywhere, they mean it to the core. Ah, now we've come to the end of our show today. This Remember comes every Monday from 8 to 9 p.m. Every Monday. Remember, if you cannot uh, get us uh, live, remember, we are live on Facebook. Our guests were, of course, our resident analyst, Mr. Kenneth Kimafi, uh, and the CEO, the, the CEO, CEO. <laughs> Chief the of CEO State. himself, Mr. George Kimafi, yes. and I have been your host, Lincoln Mbogo. Till next time, good evening. Destiny TV.